Hi, kids. Put your winky-dink magic screen in front of your TV screen and rub it hard with your magic cloth to make it hold fast. And then be ready to help us with your magic crayons in another exciting adventure of Winky Dink and you. <laughs> Okay, Woofer, how much is four and four? Uh, four and four is, um, no. If you just paid attention and stopped daydreaming, Woofer, you'd know four and four make eight. I bet in the good old days, when they invented arithmetic, and geometry and all that, they made things a lot more interesting for poor students. I think you're just lazy, Woofer. But why don't we turn back the history clock and see for ourselves? Great idea! Tick tock, history clock, turn time back to Plymouth Rock, Cato, Plato, hot tomato, back we go! Whoa! Where are we, Winky Dink? Looks like we're at the edge of a cliff. You're at the apex of my acute triangle, you young whippersnappers. No, I don't see what's so cute about this triangle, Winky Dink. How are we going to get down? We've got to ask our friends in the audience to help us. Quick, kids, take your magic crayon and draw us a slanting line down to the ground from this point to that peg there. A strong, straight, slanting line. Very good, young man. That's the hypotenuse of a new triangle. A, B, D. Whatever you call it, it sure makes a great slide. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is better than the roller coaster. Enough of that foolishness, young men. Please stop wasting my time and help me solve a very important problem. Okay, gang. Erase your drawing with your magic cloth. Rub hard and get it all off. Uh, my name's Woofer, and uh, this is my pal Winky Dink, Mr. Rum. Uh... My name is Pythagoras. Not the famous mathematician. The very same. Didn't I tell you these old-timers knew how to make mathematics fun? Now for my problem. First, I must clear my mind. Now let us erect a right triangle. I get you, Mr. Pythagoras. We wouldn't want to start with a wrong triangle, would we? No, no, you silly dog. Don't you know a right triangle is one having an angle of 90 degrees? 90 degrees, huh? Mighty educated, if you ask me. He must know all the angles. Quiet, Woofer. Please don't embarrass me. Now let's draw a square against one side of the triangle. And now a square against the other side. Hey, that's neat. Something like a checkerboard. Now I believe the squares on these sides of the triangle have something to do with a third side, the hypotenuse. But I'm not certain how. Maybe the boys and girls in the audience can help. Quick, kids, take your magic crayon and draw a square on the hypotenuse of the triangle. Make your line straight and strong. That's it. Maybe we can help Mr. Pythagoras discover his famous theorem. Very good. Let's see now. We'll take the square of the first side and fit it into your square. And now the same with the second. Eureka! We found it. The sum of the squares of the two sides of a right triangle equals the square on the hypotenuse. Oh, isn't this exciting, Winky Dink? We're making mathematical history. Okay, gang, you can erase your drawing now with your magic cloth while we get ready to go back home. Thank you very much, young friend. Come to see me again soon. Tick tock, history clock, speed time up to roll and rock, groovy movie, jazz and TV, back we go. So you see, Winky Dink, A square plus B square equals C square. Q E D. <laughs> Another adventure like that. And Woofer will be teaching math, not studying it, right, gang? Oh, be with us on our next exciting Winky Dink adventure. So long. Yeah.